Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizano, and this is episode 293 of the world famous The University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call it online marketing moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is Sunday, May the 30th. 2021 at the time of this recording ladies and gentlemen how are you doing today today is sunday what do you what what are your plans uh you know <clears throat> if you haven't already i, I was i'll tell you something you should probably do for for memorial day since most most of us you know probably don't have to work you know i say most of us and i know some of us have to work but some of us, most of us probably don't have to work. But you know what you should do? You should download all 290, 290, well, I forget about the bonus episodes. So I will say around 300 episodes of online marketing moves, and you should binge listen. You know you know how they, people will binge watch? You should binge, binge listen so you can hear some, some great content. All right? But anyway, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are just going to, this is going to be very brief. It's Sunday. I have a date with my beautiful wife. She's going to put me to work. More work. I'll tell you what. In these last month, my wife said, you know, yesterday my wife said, you know, you were snoring pretty loud yesterday. So you've been snoring. You've been snoring louder and louder lately. She, she said, I guess you haven't been getting much sleep. I said, between work, work, and more work that my wife has me doing, does who has time to sleep, you know? So when I do sleep, I guess it's uh, Snore City. But anyway, yeah, she's gonna put me to more work. I had I had to this time. I had to bring a shovel, some gloves, and we're going to we're going to her because at her job we'll, we'll make this brief. But at her job, she has these plants where they grow like rosemary and sage and all that kind of stuff, so the kids can pick it up, so the kids can pick it and use it for for you know in in their ingredients and in the food that they make, and so. She has one plant that's, you know, it's kaput. So she's like, I want you to get a tra- trash bag and a shovel and move all the dirt. And you know, and you know, and you know what my reward is going to be for all that? We're going to go and have, <clears throat> it's this place called Rita's. I don't know. <clears throat> you can look them up. They do Italian ice, but forget the Italian ice. They have this thing they call a misto shake. So, they, you know, they have different flavors. So they take like vanilla custard. You can get vanilla chocolate. I prefer vanilla. But you can get vanilla custard. They take the Italian ice. They take the custard. They shake it up, and it's like a it's like a milkshake, but you know, ice cream. And I will tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm hoping that they have cotton cotton candy. A cotton candy missile shake is the best. Okay, and I used to live right next door to this ice cream place. As a matter of fact, me and my wife, one of our first dates. I walked it. I walked it down the uh, walked it down the Toritas, and she's like, I, "I know this place," and I was like, "Well, cool." So that's one of our first um, one of our first dates. You know what I mean? So Toritas holds a special place for me, and it's one of the first places I went to when I moved to Atlanta. So it's a nice place. I enjoy it. I like it. I used to talk to the owner about superheroes, but I haven't been there in a long time because I moved. So it's been been eh, been three four years since I've been to Rita. So I look forward to going. But um, anyway, that's my reward. <laughs> it's a good reward, I guess. And then my wife is gonna make chicken. I will tell you what, Sunday is always a good day to eat chicken. You know what I mean? My wife she used to make this. Um, listen, I know. Listen, we'll get to the subject at hand. But my my wife used to make this beer chicken. If you never tried beer chicken. I highly recommend it. I never had it before until my wife made it for me, but it's quite delicious, I must say. You know, and I don't, well, I don't drink a lot. Of, I don't drink a lot of beer. So, but, you know, beer on the chicken, it adds a little flavor to it. You know what I'm saying? Tastes real good. But, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to only discuss one thing. We are only going to discuss why you should never give up. You know, that's it. We talked about this before, and the reason why we bring it, the reason why we talk about it, you have to talk about it again and again and again and again is because 
whenever you're trying something new, whenever you're starting on a new journey, a new adventure in your life, there's a lot of doubt that creeps up. And I know this from firsthand experience. There's a lot of doubt that creeps up. And there's a lot of, and it's easy, the easiest thing you can do is to never try anything new. Like, that's the easiest thing. We we both know that. You know that and I know that. It's easy not to try anything new. The hardest thing, but the best thing, is to always try something new. To always push yourself. To always move forward. To always do new things. To go on new adventures. Like, that is, you know, it's gonna hurt it's gonna be kind of tough gonna be kind of rough you know no matter what you do but whenever you figure it out and whenever you get it moving and whenever you start to see results man the reward the hard work the 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 crying the frustration the whatever you went through to get to that point whenever you start to and it and i don't mean we ain't even talking about money I'm just talking about little look like little like little victories. Like let's say you start a you know, let's say we'll we'll stick to online marketing. Let's say you start you want to put out a message, you know, you want to get into the online space. And you start to put out your message and you start to get a following. And before you know it, you went from a hundred to a thousand. And let's say you have fifteen thousand people who watch your YouTube videos. In the beginning, it doesn't matter how long it took. It doesn't matter how long it takes. The fact is that take a deep breath and look at look at and and look and be and be 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 happy. Be grateful. Be like, man, I got fifteen thousand YouTube subscribers. Like that's awesome. But in the beginning, you you know, in the beginning, you done thirty videos, sixty videos. Nobody watched them. You're tired. You're frustrated. You might have to go to work, come back, do these videos, and you're like, what in the F is going on? You know, like nobody's watching these videos. Why not? But once you get once you get once you get it going, once you get the once you get the grease down pat and it starts to move, and that engine starts to the engine starts to move, the oven starts to heat up, you'll be you'll be more than you'll be more than happy that you kept going with with the thing that you want to do you know what i mean like it's you will see it and you will see it and you will say okay okay and you start to bubble up and you'll start and you, it's like have you ever when i was a kid i did a lot of walking a lot of walking listen well from zero to 18 i did a lot of walking because didn't have a car got my license when i was 17 18 but didn't have a car. That's re- that's why I didn't get my license when I was 16 because I didn't have a car, but done a lot of walking. And whenever you're walking somewhere and it's you have a long way to go and you start to, it used to be like this little, like imagine, like close your eyes for a second and think about it, like you, you ever ran up a hill, you ever run, you're running up a hill and then you start to see, you start to see signs, you start to see buildings and you're like, wait a minute. I'm here. And then it's, you know, because <clears throat> because when you walk and you don't see anything, you're like, how long is this going to take? How, when am I going to get there? Blah, 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 blah. You know, you just talking and you know it and you're like. But then you start to do more walking. Then you do more walking. You do more walking. And then eventually you're walking up the hill. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute. I see things. I see buildings. I see signs. I see people. I see life. I'm here. I'm here. And then the walk gets easier. The walk, you get more relaxed. You're like, I I know there's somebody, this, the, there's things waiting for me on the other side. You know what I mean? And when you start to get that going in your business when you start to see the trees you start to see signs you start to see the people listen the time that you spent in the desert alone wandering around trying to figure it all out it will all be worth it trust me so don't stop like we talked about this this week take a break if you have to take a break take a break but don't quit that's the most important thing and you know, 
I know sometimes it's, you know, I know sometimes it's it's baffling, it's mind boggling. Sometimes you just get annoyed, and you'll get jealous, and you'll get upset, and you'll see people, and you're like, do they are they really doing that? And you're like, they're not better than me. <laughs> they're not better than me. And it's all right if you get upset. It's all right if you get jealous. You know what I'm saying? It's natural. It's human. You're, we're human. You know, we're not made. We're not perfect. You know, every now and then I see people, and I'm like, uh, uh, you know, like you see people, and you're like, man, they don't have. To. Like I'll t- I'll give you an example, and it's okay to every now and then if you get, you know, but it's make it brief. Don't don't wallow in don't wallow in the uh, negativity. You know what I mean? Like you can get negative every now and then. That's fine, but don't wallow in it. Don't live in it. You know. Let it come, let it hit you, split second. You're like, all right, all right, all right, F it. All right, move on. <laughs> I remember it's, it's, every now and then from, I'm working at night because I work nights, you know, and I had to come home and I had to do this and I had to do that for the, for the, for the business, you know, which I'm more than happy to do. But I get annoyed when I had to go to, because now this is where I'm at and I hope I hope you're there. I hope you get there. This is where I'm at. This is the most important thing I do every day as far as work. The podcast, the internet marketing, the online marketing, the online space. The t- I'm in the Tony Rizzano business. That's the most important thing. You know, the, the truck driving, that's fine. That's a means to an end. That's, you know, I still do it because, you know, I'm not, I haven't hit what I what I want yet, but I will. And when I do, adios. But every now and then when I have to get out the bed, you know, and drive to this to this job, which you know, I'm fine with the job, but it's at night sometimes and sometimes it's cold and sometimes it's rain. Like the other day it was raining outside and I was just like, What the F? And I'm like, You know how many people online probably at home in their bed sleeping? And I'm still out here, you know, working and, you know, doing this and doing that and still have to come to this effing place. And I was like, ah. and I was like, all right, you know, look, take a deep breath. One, two, three, boom, that's it. We're done. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it happens. It, we're all human. So, you know, the negativity, because, you know, I know we talk a lot of positivity on this show, which. You know, I'm for positive vibes and everything, but let's be realistic. We we all get annoyed. We all get frustrated. We all get pissed off. We all get angry. And it's it's it can be fleeting. You don't have to don't wallow in it. Don't don't make it your life. Don't make it the whole thing. You know, have the thought, you know, one, two, three, boom, couple minutes, move on. You know, it's what I do. It's. It's natural. It's you know because it it just happens. <clears throat> but the main thing is don't don't think you can't do it. Like it can be done. I mean, like like we talked and we talked about this before. Some of us are gonna. Some of us are gonna take two two weeks. Some of you will say, "Hey, I want to do this. I want to do that." Some of you will make start making money within. A week, two weeks, some of us, two months, (laughs) three months, some of us, six months, nine months. Some of you might take 18 months. Some of you might take two years. But what I'm saying is don't stop. Figure it out. Figure out what you're doing. Learn, study, take action. And but you will do it. You know, you just have to keep going because trust me. As a man who has walked, <laughs> a man who has walked a lot and drove a lot, you know, if you ever drive out in Arizona, you'll be out on I-40. I'll tell you this. You'll be driving desert, desert. You don't know where you're at. You, don't, you just see, you don't see nothing, okay? Nothing. This for a long time. I'll give you a better example. You're driving in New Mexico on I-40. You go past, it's a little town, I-40, around exit 29. It's called Tumerica, something like that. But then 
you drive for like another 80 miles, 90 miles, you don't see anything. You don't see anything until you get to like Santa Rosa. But then you start to see, you're like, all right, I see some life. I see some life. I see some things. I see people. And that's how it is when it comes to all this online stuff. Your podcasts, your videos, your blogs, you know, at first you'll be writing, you'll be talking, you'll be shooting videos, you know, and we're not talking about friends and family. You know, you know, me, I'll tell you like this. If you really want to feel like you're making it. Friends, yeah, friends and family, they support you. Don't get me wrong, but F them. No offense, but F them. They're not the ones who's going to make you a living. Okay. You want people. You want <laughs> you want the world. You want strangers. You want people that you don't know to 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 follow you, to to like your content, to subscribe to your content, you know? You because they're at the end of the day, they're because as we talked about, our mom used to listen a lot. She don't listen no more. She fell off. You know what I mean? That's fine. That's great. But my audience has gotten bigger since she stopped listening. You know what I mean? Like there's things that there's things that you want to do. Like I'll give you an example. Like you don't want all the time. You don't want like, yeah, you want your people, you want people to support you and everything like that. But at the end of the day, it's you, you, they, they're going to love you regardless. Like my wife, we had a discussion once and I used to, I used to think, and I used to think that, um, I used to think that I had to do all these extraordinary things for my wife to love me. No, she loved, she loved me for who I am. She met me. She, she met me. She fell in love. She loved me for whatever I, whatever I do. Doesn't matter. Truck driver, you know, you know, anything, whatever I want to do, she's going to love me regardless. So at the end of the day, while I'm doing, I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm doing this for her and I'm doing this for a child, but I'm also doing this for me as well. You know what I mean? So it's not a bad thing that you want something different for yourself. It's, yeah, you, you have people in your life you want to do. Yeah, you want to make more money or you want to spend more time with them. Don't get me wrong. But also you want some satisfaction. You want something different. You want to try something new. You're looking to reach some goals. So keep that in mind when you're doing this stuff as well you know like don't don't think oh, I, i'm doing this for this person that person no because they're going to love you regardless you're doing this for you like we're <laughs> like i think the content i create is great and that people should listen that's why i'm i'm doing it it's not a bad thing if you <clears throat> yeah it sounds selfish but at the end of the day you feel like you have something to give to the world and we all have get and we all have something to give to the world but a lot of times we don't realize that you know but now, if you're listening to this, you realize that, you know that, and give the world your story. Let the world know, because there are people that, because, listen, I can't relate to a person that's been in Hollywood for 40 years. Like, I can't relate to them. I can't relate to Tom Cruise. I love Tom Cruise movies. I love Tom Hanks movies, but I can't relate to those guys. Like, they're, you know, like, I can't relate to Tom Brady. I can't relate to that, but I can relate to you. If somebody told me, hey, man, when I was, you know, 33, I decided to change myself. I, I could relate to that. I'd be like, you know what? I was 30 something. I decided to it was time for me to change. You know what I mean? Like I can relate to that. And there's somebody out there who can't relate to me, but they probably can relate to you and your story. So this is why you should never give up. And this is why you should always keep striving you know because yeah you might be in the woods and you might not think anything's around but eventually you'll walk you'll walk and you'll find people you will find a tribe you will find it however you want to say it you know what i mean you will find like you will find people that want to follow you you will find people that will become friends family customers whatever you want to call them however you want to put it you will find these people and you will make a living and you will be happy. You will be satisfied that you were able to 
create something for yourself. You know what I mean? So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the podcast. We could go on and on about the subject, but my main thing, main message today is, and sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you're going to get frustrated. I don't really get frustrated anymore. Only thing I get frustrated about, honestly, is having to get up sometimes and go to go to go to go to driving. It's it's fine, you know. But I know I see I see signs now. I see the trees. I mean, I see this. I see the city, and I know it's there. And I know two or three months from now, you know, we can carry on. But anyway, I hope this helps, and I appreciate you. Now I'm going to go do some work and enjoy my ice cream and my chicken. So enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we will talk to you tomorrow with the all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. And also, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about the best podcast in the galaxy. Matter of fact, come start from episode one to episode 290, whatever. All right. Now, I'm just kidding. They can start whenever they want, listen to whatever they want, as long as they listen. But anyway, my name is Tony Zano. Thank you for listening. And we'll be back tomorrow with our new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, everybody, peace. <laughs>